there's a problem with the Google form. Uh, today, there's not. Uh, because yesterday there was a problem with Google form and the problem was on my end that I didn't have you write your name, even though some of you warned me that I should, um, have you do that. Uh, I don't know who answered and who did not answer. Uh, therefore everyone is complete for today. Um, I am sending out one with your name, uh, tomorrow. Hey, uh, Deborah hood, hood, hood. Hood. Good gosh. So uh, I'm sending out one for tonight's homework. Uh, I'll send it out when we get into independent practice. Um, what we want to focus on today is uh, we're talking about dialogue, particularly and in incidents. What that means is that uh, dialogue helps push plots forward. Um, Brian needs to be in school, Lewis. You need to tell him that. Um, maybe in the building, I don't know. Um, so dialogue is used to push plots forward. And what that means is that, uh, <laughs> what that means is that every piece of dialogue will teach us something about the character and what they value. So what I want us to think of as we go forward uh, and read this text, the ant and the grasshopper, which I'll share my screen with you in just a second on it. Um, I want us to think, what does this teach us about what the character values? What do I want us to think as we read through this, Deborah? Huh? Huh is right. So guys, just being here in body is not enough. Uh, let's see if Jalissa has an answer to that question I just asked. Something about what something about okay so absolutely she actually is completely correct um when we are reading dialogue what we are looking for is what that teaches us about what the character values so i'm going to need readers for this i'm sharing my screen right now um it is the grasshopper and the ants that we are reading um lydia you are correct. This apartment is much nicer than my apartment. It is because uh, it is my brother's apartment and he is a wealthier man than I am. Um, so uh, that said, uh, Grasshopper and the Ant is what we're reading. I need readers for this. We're going to stop at the, uh, we're actually going to stop right after the first piece of dialogue because it'll help teach about value. So Mr. Guzman, let's start with you, my man. Can you, uh, can you read it? Is it there? Yes, sir. Excellent. Okay, in, in the field one summer's day, a grasshopper was hopping about, chirping and singing to its heart content. A group of ants walked by, grunting as they struggled to carry plump kernels of corn. Where are you going with those heavy things, asked the grasshopper. Without stopping, the first ant replied, to our ant hill. This is the third kennel, kernel. Kernel. I've delivered today. Why not come and sing with me, teased the grasshopper, instead of working so hard. We are hoping to store food for the winter, said the, said the, wait, said the ant, and think you should do the same. Winter is far away and it is glorious day to play, sang the grasshopper, but the ants went on their way and continued their hard work. Do I continue? Um, yeah. Uh so Lewis, I know that we had read the I know that we had read this earlier, um, but I want to focus on a different piece of it. That's why we're reading it here. Um, so the piece that I want to focus on is so we know this fable of the grasshopper and the ants. Basically, the grasshopper does all the grasshopper only wants to sing and have fun, and the ants want to uh work hard so that they have food for winter. What I want to focus on in particular is what is revealed to us by the dialogue that the author has here. So Lewis, since you brought this up, uh, I want to go to you of what can we tell right away about the grasshopper based on just these first four paragraphs that we've read? What can we say about his character? Yeah. He wants to be a free person that um, does wherever he wants. And so what we can say about character, yeah, he values freedom. 
So the grasshopper values freedom. Um, he also values play. He also values uh, sort of enjoyment. What does the uh, so, uh, Naima, can you please turn on a light behind you? I can't really see you. Um, by the same token, what does the uh, what do the ants value? What do the ants want to uh, see? Yeah, Stefo, what do the ants value? The ants value their work. Why? Because they're trying to prepare for the winter, unlike the grasshopper. Okay, so the ants value preparation um, and security. Again, look at why people are hoarding toilet paper right now and buying up all of these things emergency-wise. Um, there are a lot of people who are trying to be the ants and not the grasshoppers here in case things go really badly. Um, so um, I need another reader for this. I don't know what's happening. Jason, are you in the middle of a spotlight? What's what's happening? But yes, you can read. This will prepare you for a great life on the stage. You'll be able to get the lights in your eyes right away. Um, what I want us to think as we go here is how does the difference between the ant and the grasshopper, which has been revealed through their dialogue, how does that lead to the conflict of the story? Okay. So how does their difference in characters lead to the conflict in the story? Um, so we'll, we'll go with, we'll go with Jason, wherever Jason may be. Sorry. All right, Mr. Dixon, go ahead. Mr. Mr. Erdick, can you adjust the page? Yeah. There it is. Is that good? Yeah. The weather, okay. the weather soon turned cold. All the food lying in the field was covered with a thick white blanket of snow that even the grasshopper could not dig through. Soon the grasshopper found itself dying of hunger. He, stag he staggered to his ant's hill and saw him handing out corn from the stores they had collected in the summer. He, he begged them for something to eat. What? cried the ant in surprise. Haven't you stored away for the winter? What in the world were you doing all last summer? We keep going or only dialogue? Um, yeah, so uh what I so what is the problem what is the problem that has now emerged? You're asking me? Yeah. The problem is that there's um that the grasshopper doesn't have food. Now he's begging the ants for food because he yep. didn't start during the summer. Yep, he didn't start in the summer. So, um, that said, uh, Manuela, what would you would you like to read? Given the fact that you just messaged me in all capital letters, can I read after Jason? <laughs> yes. Here, would you like to read? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, I do have one question, and Manuela, you can answer it before you read. Okay. It's this. Um, what have we learned about the, about the ant based on how they respond to the grasshopper? It's kind of mean. Yeah, they're kind of mean. Um, I would say that on this, with the problem, um, the ants, at the very least, we can say they're not sympathetic. They don't, they don't accept the fact that the grasshopper was like, I didn't do this. They're like, oh, well, that's, that's tough. It's tough. Um, so go ahead and read, Manuel. Where do I pick up? <laughs> um, you can pick up on paragraph nine. Okay. The ants shook their head in disgust, turned their backs on the grasshopper. Hello, sir, can you please move your paper? Is that better? No. 
I'm looking at the screen share. That that looks fine. Whatever. Does it not have it? For... Here we go. Okay. And went on with their work. In a field one summer's day, a grasshopper was hopping about, chirping and singing to its heart's content. A group of ants walked by, grunting as they struggled to carry plump kernels of corn. Okay, so um, clearly what we have here is that this situation repeats itself. It keeps repeating itself over and over again. Um, so, uh, what have we learned about like, so how did dialogue help us to better understand this text? Very simply, how did dialogue help us to better understand this text? I need hands raised on the system. How did the dialogue between the ants and the grasshoppers help us to better understand the text? Yeah, Jalissa, go ahead. I love your participation. It's awesome. I'm very excited. Um, it showed their character development and how, they're self, how the ants are selfish when it comes to the material. Yeah. Um, and again, thinking back to what I said earlier, when we're talking about values, it showed the values that the ants had and that the grasshopper had. Now, for these, when it has two sets of values and it clearly has one win, um, what can that tell us about the message that the author is trying to give us? What message is the author trying to give us? Jason. As much as I appreciate you getting huge, please put the weight down. Um, yeah. <laughs> what message is the author trying to give us? Lewis, what do you think, bud? Oh, the author is trying to give us the message of that. Um, even though that the grasshopper um, didn't get any food, um, it still didn't learn its lesson. Yeah, I mean, so what... What we can say here is that uh, what we can say here is that we have we have to take care of ourselves. Uh, it's our responsibility to take care of ourselves, and when we don't, then that leads to that leads to sort of disaster. Um. So yeah, uh, that is our ant and grasshopper. We're gonna go through these questions, I'm gonna demonstrate just one of them, and then we're gonna do the other two, and then I'm going to send you along your merry way to just do the uh, independent practice um, so that we can finish it and so that you don't have homework, okay? And this time the Google, for this time the Google form will actually work and will not uh, be a disaster. Um, so, uh, that's it. Uh, the first question is this, what is the theme of this text? Obviously that is uh, sort of the lesson learned, what we get, what we take away from it. Uh, the theme that I had is that uh, hard work and preparation pay off. Um, obviously because that has to do with the ants and what they do. Um, it's not that playing in leisure or waste of time, why would C be wrong? Because C does talk about what the grasshopper does, but why is C wrong? Where it says playing and leisure are wastes of time. Why is that wrong? Olivia? Um, that is wrong because it mostly focuses on the ant and how uh, like in the summertime, instead of playing, um, he was working, which paid him off in the winter. And then like, it doesn't say, that uh grasshoppers uh grasshopper like playing and uh, playing was a waste of time because he could have like gotten other stuff done okay so i think what we can say here is that um it doesn't necessarily mean like that it's always a waste of time it just means yeah. that like there are times where you shouldn't be playing where you should be real on it okay um, so, yep. 
So that's what I had on it. Um, can we do two and three, and then we'll come back together at 1030, and then I will uh, let you do the uh, independent practice for uh, 20 minutes. So 20 minutes is enough to get it done, by the way. Um, let's do two and three. The screen is shared uh, right now. Uh, let's just actually take like two minutes to do it. Ah, shoot. You are doing two and three. Um, if you have any questions, please raise your hand or hit me up in chat and then I'll get to it. We didn't mean to unmute me. Yeah. Oh, can you rearrange the screen, please? Um, yes. What do you need me to rearrange there? Um, because it, it doesn't show the top. You know, okay, yeah. That better? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm muting you now again. It's nothing personal. It is something personal. It's something deeply personal. Hey, man, don't do that. Lewis, yes. I forgot to unmute. I forgot <laughs> to mute you. What a mess! That will also be corrected. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're just going to clap this out. I'm going to briefly unmute everyone, briefly. No, we're, gonna try, we're gonna try this. I'm, I'm a little scared, but I also am trusting of some of you. Christina, I don't know what's happening with that, but I need to see your full face. Right now you have half of a face. Um, so, uh, I'm about to unmute you. It will happen. Give me just a second. The tension is building up. Um, so, uh, for number one. I love it. Oh my God. Start. Um, for number two, uh, we are just going to clap it out. Um, is that answer choice A, B, C, or D? I saw Jalissa clapping. She got for everything. Uh, <laughs> is that Momo? No, what is that? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, um, for this, then we'll just do silent signals for number two. Hold up a one, two, three, or four. Um, so the correct answer here is actually, I see Manuela doing it. I see Stefan doing it. Stefan, you got the correct answer. So tell me why it's C, buddy. Uh, okay. It's C because in 
paragraph four, we saw that the, gra the grasshopper didn't really care for the upcoming winter and he'd rather just stay in the present and not prepare for the future. Yeah, um, if you pick D, uh, you were probably thrown off by the word analogous. That doesn't mean opposite. That means just like compared to. Okay. Um, and then for number three, can we have uh, a silent pick? Oh, what's up, Kiara? What does lack of the, the, um, that, that? It means L they're not really concerned about it. Okay. Okay. Um, so for number three, what did we have for it? Uh, silent signal. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm looking for people. I'm looking for people. B is not right. Oh my gosh. Um, Miss Gonzalez, why? Wait, do you have three or four up? Four. Okay, tell me why. Four. Um, so I got, I got D because, uh, -huh. uh a question is asking uh is asking uh what the ant's opinion is on the grasshopper and considering how they uh talk to the grasshopper which is like kind of like in a mean and a harsh way um it kind of led me to see because it's like is their food supply so i understand why they would be hesitant to share it with them and yeah yeah i think that's i think that's strong okay um, yeah, uh, so what we want to think of always is how the dialogue convinces us of what, uh, how the dialogue convinces us of what precisely the author is trying to tell us, uh, and how it leads to the problems that we see in the text. Now, I'm sending you your Google form. Um, we're going to come back together at, uh, we're going to come back together, let's say, at 10.57. Um, sorry, at 10.47. Then we'll talk through all of these answer choices. Or not the answer choices. Let's do the main idea. 10.47, main idea. I'm sending you the Google form right now. Uh, that will also give you a chance to um, adjust your main idea. If you have questions, um, please chat me. And I can address them there. Um, uh, other than that, uh, this Google form, it will be due tomorrow at 8 a.m. Uh, please put your name on it now that there is a, now that there is a name function. Um, okay. There we go. The form is there. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's not just the main idea, Jot, it's those questions too. It will automatically grade your questions as well. Um, your your multiple choice questions. Um, please don't just go through these lazily. Um, please do your best on them. Uh, if I think that you're just going through and like circling random answers, I will force you to have explanations for them. I can do that on these Google Forms. Don't make me do that. That sounds boring for me and for you. Sounds terrible. Uh, we don't have to write the full short response, just the topic sentence. Um, Lewis, it's on the, uh, it's the Wednesday, it's Confetti Girl. It's the Wednesday um, independent practice, okay? I can send you the link, Naima, absolutely.
Pod, I'm chatting you. I'm chatting you. Quad. Here it is. It's the Wednesday IP. It's the Wednesday IP, Kev. Here it is. Thank 
going on fun. I brought that up. What time are you done, Nick? Um, like ten fifty. So, yeah. All right, guys, um, let's come back together. Uh, please turn all of your video screens on. Uh, I want to talk mostly about um, how the dialogue of this helps reveal what characters value. Uh, that's my big thing for today. Um, so, Mr. Dixon, could you tell me? Dang it. Uh, uh, dang it. Um, Lewis, you just have to do the topic sentence for it, okay? Um, can you tell me what our main character, our narrator values based on her dialogue? Um, I found out that she doesn't value doing the chores that she's given to do around the house. Well, she doesn't anymore. Why did she value it before? She valued it before. You said based off of the dialogue? Yeah, based off the dialogue. No, you can't see me. Doesn't matter. Uh, she valued it before because of, um, that has to do with her father, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, clearly she has a closer relationship with her mom than her father, and her mom's died. Like, before her mom didn't, like, die, she did it, she valued it more. Yeah. So she valued that relationship more before her mom died. Yep, that's that's absolutely correct. Um, so that that's what we learned about her. Um, what do we learn about the dad though? The dad's kind of an interesting character, um, because the dad also like we can tell he's kind of incompetent. Like he doesn't do a lot of things really well. Um, but Manuel, what do we learn about the dad through his dialogue? Um, that he's trying to like build a better relationship with um, his daughter because, you know, her mom's dead. Yeah, 100%. He's definitely trying. I don't know if he's succeeding, but he's trying. Um, so, yeah, uh, other than that, uh, that is class for today. I want you to think and I want you to remember um, Danny Hood. Uh, I want you to think and I want you to remember um, that when authors include dialogue, they do it to show us what different characters value and what different characters are motivated by, okay? Um, that's due at 8 a.m. tomorrow to me. If you have any problems, you can reach out to me uh, in many ways. You can reach out to me on Jupiter. You can reach out to me on Zoom. Uh, I'm also putting my phone number down here. Uh, if you try to prank call me or do anything like that, I will uh, come to your house and cough on you um, in the night. So please do not do that. 574-807-4409. If you have any questions at all, please let me know and I'll, I'll, help, I'll, help, uh, I'll help with any of those. All right. Um, also, uh, just by show of hands, uh, since we have a break directly before this class, would you like it to be due at 10 a.m. and not 8 a.m.? Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, so let's say 10 a.m. tomorrow, all right? I'll be able to grade it all. Thanks, guys. Um, have a great rest of your day. Bye. If you guys have any questions for me personally, uh, your homework, I just linked it. It is going 10 minutes, so most of you have already turned it in, but if those of you that haven't, there you go. Um, you do not need to tell, do not need to confirm with me whether or not it's done. I tell you, as soon as you press submit, it comes directly to me. Deborah, yes. Lydia, yes. As soon as you press submit, you don't have to worry about sending it, it comes straight to me. Alyssa, literally, if you just click on the link, 
type your answer, press submit. There's no other step. It's not a difficult thing. Listen, mm -hmm. dude, I thought this was still TA class and TA class has been taken over. I'm just gonna get out of here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do you have a face mask on? Deborah. Uh, any other questions before I leave? Because it is break time. Y'all. Any other questions? Just so it's Corona time right now. Debra. Debra, it's Corona time. Anjali, hold on. Oh my gosh, no. DJ, did you? Anjali, you, where were you in class? I marked you as absent. Hold on, let me unmute you. Hello? Me? You? I was here. I was just like, you know. No, I don't know. 